Um, we continue with our BRICS coverage. We're, we're looking at the build-up as we age closer to the 22nd of August. We're going to cross to our international editor, Sofu Mugrena, who is at Lanseria Airport, where Malawian President Lazo Strakwera is expected to arrive for the BRICS summit. Um, Sofu, good afternoon, and thank you for your time with us um, here on the SABC. At this point, where you are, Lanseria Airport, we are waiting the arrival of the president of Malawi. Give us an indication but who else is expected and, and what is transpiring on, on your end as we speak? Yes, you are correct, Lizelle. We are expecting the president of Malawi to land any minute uh, from now. As you know, that uh, the heads of state of and government and on the continent in particular have been invited and particularly the SADC region because South Africa is part of that uh, group and therefore President Chakwera is expected to arrive here at Lanseria tomorrow there will be more arrivals and uh, every day going forward now we'll receive uh, the heads of state and government who will be participating at the BRICS summit. You know that uh, President Ramaphosa has invited leaders from the continent for that BRICS Plus meeting where the BRICS leaders will engage with leaders uh, from the continent. You also have uh, leaders from the South-South, in other words, uh, those countries that are part of South-South. So what they do, some of them will come in person as heads of state and government. Others will send their vice presidents or deputy presidents, others will send ministers to represent their countries. And therefore, we are here at Lanseria where a Malawian president is expected to, to land. And you heard earlier on when Natasha Piri was speaking to President Ramaphosa, the president pointed out that uh, Tomorrow, uh, they will communicate with uh, South Africa, the region and the continent and the world in terms of what we can expect at this summit. Quite an important one because it comes at a time where there are many challenges in the region. You know the issue of Gabo Delgado and the member states of uh, BRICS do assist in relation to peace and security. You know we have South African troops who are deployed in Gabo Delgado in Mozambique. You know that on the continent you have the DRC also. We have our troops there doing a good job in maintenance of peace. And we now have a hotspot, Sudan and Niger, the latest, and the president this morning talking about uh, some of the South Africans, 23 South Africans who are trapped in Niger and the president speaking to Natasha saying that uh, they will be evacuating South Africans who are trapped in Niger but really condemning the coup and calling for peace and stability. And therefore as this meeting is taking place, uh, you also have lots of issues that the leaders will have to grapple with, not only in relation to trade and investment, but the geopolitics. You know the war in Ukraine, you know the Black Sea grain deal where Russia took a decision not to renew that uh, deal and this will lead to food shortage and you know that uh, the Secretary of the United Nations, the Secretary General Antonio Guterres will be in the country and these are some of the issues that he is going to uh, talk about when he's addressing the BRICS leaders and when he's interacting uh, to some of the leaders who will be in South Africa next week. So all eyes on South Africa and all cameras and many journalists, broadcasters print, electronic, uh, focusing on South Africa and therefore South Africa will have to demonstrate once more that uh, the country is ready to host the world. All right, so back to you in studio, Lizelle. Thank you, Sophie, for that update. We'll continue to monitor developments, perhaps as we await the imminent arrival of Malawian President Lazarus uh, Chakwera. Um, Sophie Mugwena, international editor is at Lanseria Airport, where Malawian President Lazarus Chakwera is arriving. This is for the BRICS summit taking place between the 22nd to the 24th of August. Sophie, if you can hear me, I'm going to hand it over to you. We were waiting his arrival. It seems that visuals on our screens 
are um, showing that his plane has just landed us, landed rather. Walk us through what else is, is transpiring on your end as we speak. You are correct, Lizelle. The plane has just uh, landed, as I pointed out earlier on, that the uh, uh, president of Malawi uh, is arriving today. Indeed, he has arrived. You know that, as I pointed out, that uh, President Cyril Ramaphosa has invited leaders on the continent, particularly the SADC region, because South Africa is part of the SADC region, and therefore you will see that uh, many leaders in the region will be arriving for the summit, because on the margins of the BRICS summit for heads of state and government, you are going to have another meeting that is the Friends of BRICS, where the leaders of BRICS will engage with other leaders on the continent and from the south-south. However, some countries will be sending the vice presidents, others will be sending ministers, while others are expected to attend in person to engage the BRICS leaders. You know that uh, high on the agenda, of course, is issues that are related to development around the world. And you know that South Africa, from the inception of democracy, the founding father, Nelson Mandela, his successor, Mbegi, Zuma, uh, Khalema, and now President Ramaphosa, took a decision that they will always prioritize the region that is SADC in relation to development, but also the continent and, of course, other regions, and preferably the South-South. And therefore, the president is continuing with that uh, policy of the governing party of ensuring that not only South Africa is prosperous, but all countries in the region, on the continent, and particularly in the south-south, do develop. As you know, that uh, there's a push to ensure that uh, the developed north is paying attention to the needs of the developing south. And uh, now, uh, in a minute, the president of Malawi will uh, get off the plane, and uh, this is the first arrival, but also it signifies the moment and the week ahead in terms of uh, South Africa and all eyes on South Africa in relation to this big uh, meeting of the BRICS family. I think one of the important issues that will be discussed it's the geopolitics, as I pointed out, the issue of peace and security, and also the issue of uh, transformation of the important uh, uh, multilateral organizations. You know, the United Nations and the Security Council, including the ins institutions such as the IMF and the World Bank, because uh, the developing South uh, has pointed out that uh, these institutions, after they were launched after the Second World War, the aim and the objective thereof is not relevant according to the needs of the Global South. And when you look at the Security Council, the agenda, you find many African countries on that agenda. So the BRICS summit is going to be very, very important for South Africa and those who will be attending to continue that uh, discussions. But issues of trade as well, as you saw earlier on, and now our colleagues at uh, Galaga, where you have many, many, many uh, business uh, personalities from both uh, the continent and other countries converging at uh, Midrand to discuss issues related to trade and investment. And this afternoon, as you saw, the focus was on energy. And 
very important topic for South Africa in particular at a time where we are experiencing challenges of uh, energy supply and the Minister of Energy Gwede Mantashe talking about uh, a document that will be released uh, next week where South Africans will weigh in in terms of uh, how South Africa is going to deal with challenges of uh, energy. And uh, to receive the president of Malawi is Minister NG Motsecha. Uh, she is going to receive uh, the president of Malawi, uh, Lizelle. And uh, yeah, quite a, a busy weekend and yes. a busy week ahead. We know that um, President of China, Xi Jinping, is arriving on Monday and he will embark on a state visit on Tuesday where he is going to have a more private and bilateral uh, talks with President Ramaphosa looking at trade and investment between South Africa and China but also discussing the global challenges, the geopolitics issues of uh, of, of, of security. Yes. Back to you in studio. All right, so continue. All right, thank you, Sophie. Thank you, Sophie. Um, we'll, we'll monitor developments. Perhaps um, we can be a back and forth of exchanges as we await um, the president, perhaps to to, to descend from the aeroplane again. Um, the president of Malawi, um, President um, Lazarus Chakwera, expected um, to 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 obviously exit that plane now. Is officially landed on South African soil for um, the BRICS summit taking place between the 22nd and the 24th of August. So Sophie Mugwena is at Lanseri Airport giving us an update there. Angie Muchecha. Um, is going to be receiving the Malawian president. We, we know that the term, you know, brick was um, first coined by the Goldman Sachs economists to describe the rise of Brazil, the rise of Russia, the rise of India and China. And this happened back in 2001. And um, these countries had their first summit in 2009 in Russia, where South Africa officially joined the following year. That is when the, t uh, the coin BRICS was termed. And so to date, it is the 15th edition and we've seen that BRICS countries account for more than 40% of the world's population, about 26% of the global economy. And so as um, Sophie Mukwena, you know, alluded to, there are going to be lots of pertinent um, topics uh, on the agenda, including geopolitics, peace and security, the transformation of multilateral organizations, trade and investment also coming through, and perhaps some of the learnings we can um, take from some of our BRICS counterparts in fixing our energy crisis um, at large. To date, we're looking at what hangs on the back of this BRICS summit as we see a shift in dynamics um, for, for um, the geopolitics. And uh, we're also looking at what BRICS as a grouping has achieved to date. Um, who BRICS is in the geopolitics, um, geopolitical sphere and where to from here as well. Um, as I mentioned, the 22nd to the 24th of uh, August at the Santon Convention Center is where that's happening. South Africa chairing the 15th edition. It's that one year rotating chairmanship of um, the BRICS um, group in January, um, in January of this year. As you can see on, on your screens right now, um, the president of Malawi has descended from the plane and is making his way through into, um, the, into, into the terminal, perhaps where um, he will be dealt with by customs and going through the different protocols. Um, and then he'll officially be on his way to, to, um, to, um, to, 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 to the summit um, for, for that summit taking place on the 22nd, perhaps also um, meeting with some of the other leaders on the sidelines um, as we edge closer. I actually want to hand back to Sophie Mugwena at this point because she is at Lanceria. Perhaps you can give us um, from your vantage point what you are seeing. It seems like it's a very jovial mood. Angie uh, Mutsecha also on our screens um, just having received um, President Lazarus. Yes, indeed he has arrived and he is now in the car and um, we are done from Lanceria. He was received by Minister Njimo Tsecha and uh, he's now watching uh, the activities. You have uh, the Ndebele group performing there and I think it's part of uh, sharing of culture. South Africa is a diverse 
uh, uh, nation or with uh, different colors. And also, you also have uh, Bape Dimo, and uh, you can see that uh, there was an attempt to kind of showcase our culture as a country, a country located on the tip of uh, the south of the continent, but we are Africans. You can see the Swati or Amaswati also uh, sharing their culture. So I think it is also part of uh, showcasing what South Africa can offer, which does help in terms of also using this moment to uh, attract uh, tourists to the country, because it's not only about hard global international issues, but also how you can leverage on this uh, conference in relation to uh, showcasing what South Africa can offer, particularly after COVID-19, when you revive the sector and the industry, you use such opportunities to send a positive message out there to the world that uh, there is so much that South Africa can offer. It's not only hard core news or politicians or government, but you have a nation, a very, very proud nation and back to you in studio we are done now Lizelle all right thank you Sophie for that um, Sophie you know alluding to some important points there we're looking at the cultural economy and how to project the region's soft power perhaps in relation to transformation and economic growth. Um, Sophie Mugwena is at Lanseria Airport, bringing us the latest there. So on your screens, we just heard the Malawian president, Lazarus Chagwera, arriving, a fishy touchdown on South African soil ahead of the BRICS summit. And uh, we're obviously looking at that um, jovial um, display that had been put on as he um, walked down the red carpet, received by Minister Angie Mutsecha. So he is the first of many heads of states and important um, Guests that will obviously be descending to our shores to discuss a lot of pertinent issues on the cards, which Sophie also alluded to, transformation of multilateral organizations, trade and investment, and how South, African, uh, South Africa as chair can strengthen its uh, relationship with the BLOCS partnerships and how this you know, can also obviously impact the South-South the, 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 the South and uh, the continent at large. Tourism has been a big factor. Um, South Africa hosting that is going to benefit tremendously. She alluded to this as well on the back of the COVID-19 uh, pandemic and how transformation in that through the summit is obviously going to um, assist a lot of businesses along the value chain.